to the Upside of You with Brian Hill, and I am Brian Hill. We're having fun here tonight prior to the shoot here, and we're just laughing, so I hope you guys join us and laugh along with us. Um, we're having a really great time. The show, The Upside of You, is all about you. What I focus on is the positive side of beingness, being, you being you. And I use a tool called astrology to do that. I am an astrologer. I have clients literally around the world, and I do readings with them and consultations in many ways. And tonight I'm going to talk about the moon and the process of what the moon means in our life from an astrology. Um, and we're going to get into looking at all the different signs and in depth what's going on with the moon. And here in the studio, my partner to my left who's off screen is Leanne. Hello, Leanne. Hello, Brian and, and she, everyone. And she and George is over here on the right. So you'll hear people and we'll be laughing and having a good time, hopefully. You can call in. I really advise you uh, to call in. And if you know your birth date, that's really all I need tonight. I don't need to know your time of birth, but if you have that, you could give that to us as well. So if you want to know what your moon sign is, or you just have any questions that you want to ask, I could pull it up on the computer. I could do a little mini session for you, and that's what we've been doing on the show, is that people have been calling, and we've really been having fun and a good time with it. Um, you could call in, oh, I want to give you the number. It's area code 941-706- 7905 and that might be on your screen over there to the left uh, if you want to get a hold of me off screen my email address is bhwhale b-h-w-h-a-l-e at yahoo.com and we've been from the past weeks we've been using different planets uh, and we've been really showing how the planets have an effect in our lives now a lot of people don't think that they do and they say, how could a planet way up there have anything to do with us way down here? Well, I think of the sun, all right? The sun's rays we feel every single day. The sun's rays comes from 92 million miles away, and we don't think about it. We don't have a second thought about it. We expect the sun to be up. Well, the sun is 100,000 times the size of the Earth, so it's this massive ball of energy. The, pla the other planets aren't as big, obviously, as the sun. Jupiter is the largest in our solar s system, <coughs> excuse me, and it's 12 times the size of the Earth. So it's not even clearly near that. So the sun's rays send it for 92 million miles, and the other planets also ascend and down a frequency, but they're not as strong. Uh, and so they're very subtle and very fine, and science can't touch them, count them, feel them, and etc. So science says they don't exist. And I as an astrologer like in planets, including the moon, even though the moon is not considered a planet, planet um, I consider them big utility companies in the sky and they all have jobs to do. And we've been talking about the various jobs that various planets have to do and today I want to talk about the moon, the importance of the moon. We're, we're very much aware of when the moon is full. We're learning more and more about that. When the moon is full, police departments put on more policemen. Hospitals put on more people on their staffs. There, there's something very powerful about the moon's effect upon our body. And we know for sure that the moon affects tides. I mean, this is just science that we know. Yeah, and, and so when the moon is full, it affects the tide, it affects us. Why does it affect us? Well, if it affects a big body of water like the Gulf of Mexico, for instance, we are 70% water or better. So why would it affect our little body that's going on in here? So the moon, you, we kind of know how the moon works in some respects for us. And tonight I'm going to tell you how the moon works in a different way. Planets, like I just said, are big utility companies in the sky. And, and they're, they're also, they also function as part of our psyche. Like, for instance, Mercury is how we think. Venus is how we love. Mars is how we act, etc. And the moon is what the, what the moon's symbolism in, in astrology is. The moon's sim symbolism is our emotion. All right? What the moon really has to do with, it rules our emotions. It also rules our subconscious. And it rules the moon. Think of the moon as a feminine energy. The moon rules the relationship that we've had with our mother, especially when we were in the womb. 
So by looking at your chart, by understanding what your chart is and understanding where the sign is, and I'll explain what sign is to in a minute, we could tell a lot about your subconscious, a lot about your emotion. And, and the subconscious has more to do with um, who we are than we think. Everybody knows our sun sign. Not many people know our moon sign, but we operate more off our moon sign until we grow into our sun sign. It's, it's, a, it's a, very, um, a very subtle but very powerful energy field that goes within all of us. And, and um, the, I wanted to get to the sign just in case. What, what the sign is, what a sign is, just take your sun sign, for instance. You know what your sun sign is. Well, what does that mean? You're an Aries, you're a Taurus, you're whatever. Well, on the day that you were born, the sun was in a particular place in the sky. And that particular place, if you were an Aries, was in an Aries location. So picture the sun having a pair of sunglasses on. And the sunglasses act as a filter that hold the characteristics and traits of an Aries. So when you look out into life, you look at it as an Aries. Well, the moon operates in the same way. On, a partic on the moment that you were born, the moon was in a particular place in the sky, and it's being filtered in one of those 12 signs as well. I'm getting feedback. I'm getting resonance. Okay. And, and we have a, a caller coming in, and I want to take the caller in just a second. Uh, but I want to just finish where I am in this. So on the moment of your birth, right, the moon was in a particular place, just like the sun was, right? And we have a choice of 12 different moon signs. Unlike the sun sign, which changes monthly, okay, the moon sign changes every two and a half days. Think of the phases of the moon changing quickly. So the moon is a very, very important part of our subconscious and a part of our life, and I'll give you some other stuff. But right now, um, I have a, a caller. I want to take the caller and run the chart of the caller. Hello? Hi. Is this Gail? Yes, it is. Hi, Gail. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, what I'm going to do, everybody, um, I'm going to have a computer over here, and I'm going to run Gail's chart, and then we're going to talk about whatever you want to talk about, Gail. Okay? Does that work for you? Sounds wonderful. Thank you. Um, and Brian, Gail's, Gail called into my show earlier. Do you oh, remember Gail's? Okay. Gail's now I have yeah. you. Okay. Okay. Um, when I'm looking at, just bear with this a second. Okay. And I see that you were born in Monterey, California. Yes, I was. And you're calling from where now? Connecticut. Can, where in Connecticut? Oh, God. In Meriden, between Hartford and New Haven. Ah. And um, I had to think, because we're in Florida. What, what are we in? We're in springtime. Is it spring there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's Oh, yeah, that's that's what we miss down here is is that spring. Are you kidding? We get we get spring. We've uh, had the pol the pollen has been really intense. Gail. We get pollen, she gets flowers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have to I have to remind Brian that we live in a tropical environment and there are flowers on a 24/7 basis. He just doesn't see them sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, we've had Mother Earth in her total glory this spring. It's been absolutely a delight. Oh, how wonderful. You know, go ahead. Gail, have you had your astrology chart looked at before? Um, I look at it occasionally, but I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> well, that's okay. When I I didn't even believe in it before I started looking at it myself. Uh, how do you spell Monterey? M O N T E R E Y. That's all right. Did I spell it wrong? No, you spelled it right. <laughs> uh, no, Thank never. You. Thank you, Gail. <laughs> I've learned not to. All right. Um, just uh, for a discussion that we're talking about tonight before we get into anything deeper. Gail, your moon, you know that you're a sun sign Scorpio. You're very much aware of oh that. Oh, yeah. Right? I'm very aware of that. Your moon sign, however, is Gemini. All right? So your sense of feeling, if I ask you how you feel, you know, how do you feel right now, what you're going to do is think about it before you tell me how you feel. Right. Right? And, and somebody with, with really a, a water sign, for 